Shift cat. What are you doing? Hey, come on, kitty cat. Come on. What are cats like, honestly? Really? Right, anyway, welcome to this video. And uh, this is a mobile style unboxing videos. Video, sorry. And I don't usually do videos like this. And uh, I've decided to do it for this one because this is my brand new Moto G84 or Motorola G84 5G model. Uh, it is a 256 model. Now, um, I don't know if they do it in various different sizes, but this is the one that I've gone for and I bought it from my local retailer. Um, links will be in the description below if you want to find out uh, if this is any good for you or if this is one thing if you're interested the links will be in the description below but this is uh, an unboxing style video simple uh, reason why I bought this uh, bought this mobile today is because I have currently I have been using a Samsung A54 which is this little annoying little piece of technology and if you can see there i have been continuously getting that message on this phone now this is an insured phone uh which hence after this video after i've unboxed it set it up and used it i'm going to be obviously uh cancelling my insurance with my service provider um but that's that's another thing that i've got to do with but anyway, um, it seems to be a little bit of a, um, a bit of a glitch with the Samsung mobiles. I've had two of these, two of the A54s with the same sort of message. This one uh, started two, about two days after I bought, after I got it. And the other one took about a week after I got it to, to display this message. Um, but anyway, that's another video completely entirely. But let's let's um, let's uh, just uh, gander at this box. So as I said, this is the Motorola or Moto G84 5G model. Um, so I don't know if you can uh, if you can see that on the video. So it's capture every detail. Five sorry, 50 megapixel ultra. A 50 megapixel ultra pixel camera with iOS is it sorry OIS can't even read it ultra wide ultra vivid PLOD uh, display Dolby Atmos high res audio stereo speakers uh, right and that's the package there so you've got that one as you can see it's fully sealed uh, so anyway let's get let's get on to unpacking this so as long as my camera doesn't decide to or the tripod doesn't decide to um, uh, you know move should I say right so ooh, look at this right so you get a nice little there's the mobile we'll have a look at that in a minute so let's, let's have a look at this. Uh, and the other thing, the reason why I bought this specific model, or this specific type of phone, should I say, well, this specific model, is because you actually, oh, there's, there's a bit of a, there's your little um, legal, sorry, legal safety and status, uh, like legal sort of mumbo jumbo that you always get out of out of the phones. Meet your Moto G84 5G. So that's all the little bits of stuff that it's got. So it's got a flash. It's got a microphone, main camera, ultra wide macro camera. Put the uh, proximity sensor. Pro sorry, proximity sensors, SIM and micro SD card tray, which is very important for me because I have got an SD card 
in that. Um, NCF, sorry, NFC Touch Point. Uh, no, I've tried them before. They're pretty much, they're just part of security, I think. Uh, speaker, front camera, uh, volume buttons, power button, front thing, uh, fingerprint sensor there, uh, speaker, headphone jack, which you don't usually find in phones now, and microphone, and then USB Type-C charger. Uh, yep, and there's the SIM card slot, so it's basically like it like me uh samsung phone so there we go uh but what you do get here is you actually get a usb types oh, a usb charger which for anybody who has bought phones at least in the last probably i'd say at least in the last two or three years you don't really get any uh any charges with them this is the first phone that I have actually held in my hands, that I've actually bought, that actually has a USB charger, so I might actually be using that actually, that's quite handy that. And obviously, <coughs> you get USB type C, excuse me, a cable, which, let's just have a look. How decent is oh this is actually this is actually quite quite a lengthy cable must be what two two meters two meter cable see there's a USB type C there's a USB usually USB three it's usually but anyway and let's have a look at the phone so this is the phone in question uh, so we've got, as as it said, we've got main camera, ultra wide camera, flash. I actually, oh, it's got a gel. Hey, it's got a gel uh, thing on it. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is brilliant. See, new freebies in with phones. Come on, Samsung, what are you playing at? Uh, so, hey, I'm liking this. See. This is the thing, is with. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear a bit of rustling in the background. It's my cat. She's an absolute frigging nightmare. She loves doing there. Oh, I tell you. Right. Anyway, let's take this off if I can. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, there I am. There's the camera. I'm not shooting on the phone, by the way. I'm shooting on my trusted uh, Nikon FC camera. Oh, yeah, right. So, that is the SIM slot there. So, uh, I'm not going to set it up just yet. I'll probably actually switch it on so you can have a look. Ooh. But I probably won't actually set it up on camera because I need to actually... Oh, the last mobile I've the last sorry the last mo roller mobile I ever had was a Motorola Razor. Hello, Moto. Oh, hello, Moto. Right, that's quite handy that. Right, so obviously uh, I'll set this up later. Um, so we've got emergency visual settings. We've got start. We've got obviously a language. Hello. And then, oh yeah, so it's it's basically asking me to to connect all the stuff, but I will do that off camera. But yeah, this is uh, I will be back pretty soon when it's all set up. Right, so it's the afternoon after the initial part of the video, and yes, it's been about twenty four hours, or probably eight more like eighteen hours. And I have finally managed to get this phone synced with my account. So everything you will see on here is how this uh, phone initially sets up. Uh, however, there's obviously personal data on here. I'm not going to go through everything on the phone because there is obviously personal data on here. 
but just to give you a bit of a brief uh, look at what the phone may look like when you set it when you set up yours so let's do this so as you see I've customized this search bar usually it's a uh, Google Chrome or Google search bar and we've got Firefox there which is usually Chrome but everything else is standard um, so you've got the Play Store, you've got the wallet, you've got the settings you've got the um, uh, Moto thing, actually I might have a look at that because that's not, not so this is basically how you how you um, how you customize the phone i.e. with the Android software and you can customize uh, you can customize layouts so as you see there you can customize the layouts on how many tiles so it's got four times six so it's four across six up uh, but you can do it for four times seven which is four across seven up but I've got it four times six um, and also you've got the shapes of the icons so I've gone for like the teardrop but you've got the square you've got the circle you've got uh, more of a square there actually that's more of a square you've got an oval you've got a weird squidgy sort of raindrop there um, or water drop should I say and you've got your sounds as well so so you've got sim 1, sim 2 not hello moto notifications so oh, oh. Try that one again, it's not on sound then. Yeah. So you got hello. Oh. Right, so there are all the different chimes that you've got. Um alarm, helium. What's that alarm helium? Helium. Yep, so you got that, and and what else can I show you now? Uh, yeah, we'll show the settings. So these are the personalised settings that you can also do via the Moto app. So you've got your fonts, you've got your themes, you've got obviously the background, uh, you've got your colours, you've got your icon shapes, you've got text, and uh, uh, display text size, uh, layout, fingerprint, uh, sound and dark mode, oh dark mode there, sound there, um, and what I do like about this however is you've got like obviously the close button, that's the close button, but you've also got this button which is items or well, tabs more to the point so say like you wanted to go on to the menu then you press that to get off oh no actually you press menu and say like you wanted to go on to calculator all right so then you press that go to there and then you can instantly go on to the tab so let's just do that again so you've got you've got that to close you do that there you go you got your and that is a quite handy feature that really i think uh even though it's more or less like on the samsung's you know what the samsung's work out like the camera well let's just show you the camera um just put that there so the camera we'll just have a look so the camera isn't well it's actually not that bad actually really um, it's a bit hard to demonstrate the camera actually viewing on another camera but 
it's pretty much good detail and you can just click and that's for the flash and then you go onto there and that is the actual um, picture of the camera now I have got everything onto an SD card so and also and you've got your uh, things there your notifications and uh, everything like that I'm not going to scroll down because it will uh, it'll show my location which isn't very good uh, you've also got your time the day uh, what else do, 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 do. and everything like that so yeah but I do really 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 think that this is a really good mobile um, I've just briefly tested it out last night and yes uh, it's far better than than this thing that wasn't working very well uh, and it's a software issue but well I think it's a software issue probably more than the, the actual cam the actual things broke but um, as for my first Motorola mobile really good not bad price for what you for what you have and yes anyway thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video um but i don't know if i'll do any more mobile style videos probably not probably for quite a while but anyway thank you for watching bye for now bye bye